came across this amazing meme the other day, and I think it really encapsulates some of the common communication challenges between masculine and feminine communicators. It's impossible to talk to you, you only offer solutions. Now this meme speaks to me on so many levels. I have literally heard this from previous romantic partners, where they just want me to listen to them, they don't want me to solve their problems. My masculine engineer brain has a really rough time turning off the problem solving. Like a really, really rough time, and I think a lot of engineers could empathize with this. This meme really encapsulates the masculine and feminine communication styles very well. If you're a more masculine communicator, like I am, you almost have a hard time trying to turn off that problem solving aspect Anytime someone brings you anything, you want to solve the problem. Oh, what is this? I gotta solve the problem. That's just something you just innate. You can't turn it off. Well, you need to learn to turn it off and you need to spend the effort to pay better attention when you do just solve the problem instead of listening. Sometimes people around you need you to just listen to their problems and not solve the problem. The differences between communication styles between masculine and feminine communicators can be a big challenge if you're a masculine communicator that's not used to listening to people wanting to essentially vent their feelings and be hurt because that's okay. Both communication styles are okay. They're both fine. Now, if you're in a technical environment, a lot of the times you just want to get things done. But if you take that mindset home and you just are listening to your romantic partner, if you have one, and you might not, if you just keep trying to solve all their problems instead of listening to them, this is going to be a problem for you. So if you want to maintain a relationship with a romantic partner, you should probably start paying attention when you're just solving problems instead of just actively listening. Listening to understand. So you're listening to the situation, you're starting to remember names when names routinely come up, and you're asking questions. Oh, that sounds super frustrating. Why did they do this to you? Last month they did something similar. Now the other person is going to start feeling very heard because you're actually listening to them instead of just saying, wow, you should just replace the battery in your car. So you need to embody this paying attention and not trying to solve the problem. Trying to do this when you first start trying to not solve problems is hard, but after you get more used to it, so I solve the problem very quickly and then I actively listen to understand whatever's going on, the frustration, whatever's happening. When it comes to a work situation where someone wants to vent, if you want to grow a professional social network, at times you should listen to people and be genuinely curious about what they want to tell you. If they just want to send negative energy your way, I'm not trying to say you should take on all their negative emotions, but when someone wants to come to you with some situation and they just want to be heard, consider listening to them. Having more people in your professional network is going to be something that will help you long term and you will have a variety of different communication types in your network. You should start working on the skills to interface with all of these different communication styles because it's something that if you've never dealt with it, you shouldn't expect to be good at it. So if you're a very hyper-masculine communicator where you don't care about feelings, you just care about results, that's something that I think you should go and work on that right now. So start actually listening to people that are bringing you their feelings and just want to be heard instead of just solving the problem. And you'd be very surprised, this will probably be very helpful for your dating life. And maybe if you start listening, you might have one. Until then, you should learn more emotional intelligence at this playlist up here. Or you can get started with social intelligence at this playlist down here. Or you can keep doing exactly what you've been doing and getting all the same results.